There, there are a number of ways the church can unwittingly um, be very insensitive to, to, to people on this issue. Um, one is, is crass use of, of certain language and, and terminology. So people saying in a pejorative way, oh, that's so gay. That is not going to help people in your church feel as though you are a safe person for them to talk to if they, they're experiencing homosexual feelings themselves. So we want to avoid crass use of language in that kind of way, gay jokes, that kind of thing. We, we need to actually have zero tolerance of that in our church communities. It is not honouring to the Lord, it's not honouring to our, our brothers and sisters for whom this is a, a real issue. Um, related to that, we, we mustn't speak of this particular form of, of sexual behaviour or sexual temptation as, as if it is more sinful and much worse than, than all the other forms of temptation out there. Um, sometimes Christians can speak of homosexual temptation in a way that is, is a little bit self-righteous, as if to say, well, that's a very disgusting sin, isn't it? And, and actually all of us are disgusting sinners. So we mustn't look down on this particular sin in the way that we discuss it. It's, if we do discuss it, we need to do so in the context that all of us are broken. All of us experience sexual desires that are, that are twisted, that are perverted. Um, it's quite liberating actually to think every one of us is, is sexually perverted because of the fall. And the third area I think we just need to be careful on is that we don't, we don't demean singleness in our church life either. Um, I remember talking to a, a lady and, and she was filling me in on, on her, her kids and she said, you know, one of them's married and the other one's engaged, so they're both sorted. And I remember thinking, ouch, that, that, that kind of implies those of us who aren't married are not sorted. And if that's the kind of language we use in our our churches, that is not going to help um, those who are single, for whatever reason, in fact, uh, in the long haul. That, that kind of language, again, can be very demeaning and very discouraging to other people.